Hi, I'm Matt Remillard, and this is Ascension Media. Today's video is on setting up the micro studio camera. So let's go ahead and jump into what's included in the box. So the first thing you'll notice when you get in the box is a power cable. This power cable has the cover over the universal button. Uh, so you can pick whichever one. Of course, we're here in the US, so I picked the two prong. It also gives you a wiring harness with all sorts of goodies on it and the camera itself. So that's what's included. So let's go ahead and start with the first item. The first item, of course, is the power. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out the plastic holder. We're going to put in the, the area-specific power adapter for your area, and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this uh, power here. The interesting thing about the Micro Studio camera is that everything is powered off of this wiring harness. So on the wiring harness, we go ahead and find the power adapter. This is audio of some sort. And here is the power adapter. So we're gonna plug that in, kind of push that off to the side so it's not in our way. And connect the camera using uh, this serial type port. There we go. Now, after that's connected, we've got a couple of things to do. As with every uh, Blackmagic design camera, uh, the first thing that they request you to do is update the firmware. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have a USB cable. Now this specific camera is not one of the newer ones. Uh, it is one that has the older camera style connector right here. We're going to plug that in the bottom of the camera. So it connects right there in the bottom of the camera. And then we are going to go to Blackmagic Design's website. We're going to go to support then cameras, and we're gonna go download the latest camera update, which it seems at this time is the 721 update. Let's download that, I'm on a Mac here. Um, if you, this, this is your first time owning a Blackmagic product and you wanna register, you can do so here. I normally just download. <clears throat> so just give us a moment here while we Download this and we'll be right back the moment this downloads. Okay, so the Blackmagic camera setup software has downloaded. Uh, so we are going to very quickly just install this software. All that's required to do that is just literally to double click on the install cameras. And then now just follow the installer. Continue. Password, of course. And then once this is installed, we have our camera connected. Uh, so we can close, we'll go into Launchpad. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that file. We'll go into Launchpad and find that software, which is um, Blackmagic Camera Setup. Uh, it will pop up and say, this is the camera. Uh, version 471 evidently was the latest one that had an update for this camera. It says the software is up to date. All right, so now that this is up to date, we can move on to the next step. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, every one of these comes preset 4K. Now, the nice thing about the ATEM switcher is that the ATEM, it automatically changes from whatever format you're in and makes it 1080p, which is why a lot of times I'll use these. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch to this camera 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a lens on it. So there we go. Put that in focus. Good enough for now. So I am going to go ahead and here and I'm going to show you the camera that shows which button I'm hitting. Uh, but I have to go back to that screen. So right now it's got a video format. Um, in 4K, we want to get out of that. So let's go ahead and select that. Once it's selected, then we'll cycle through. We'll go to 1080p 30 is actually what this is running right now. And then hit select. Now the main reason for that, of course, the output of the SDI is very important. So we want the output of the SDI to be what the switcher is running. Now, um, funny thing about that actually is this will switch it as we're seeing to whatever we need, but it's just a good idea to have them running in the right output. So I'm gonna bring this camera back up again. And then we're gonna go ahead and exit out of the menu. Um, before we do that, this will be camera one. So I'm gonna leave that on camera number one and set up. Uh, the reason for that is when you go into the software for the ATEM switcher, um, that's gonna be important. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bounce out of this menu. And there we go, as you can see, it's running 1920 by 1080. And the lens is looking good. This is a very, um, this lens is like f1.7, so. All right, so we now have this camera set up. It's ready to go. Thank you for watching this really quick uh, Ascension Media tutorial. If you have any other questions about this or any other topics, please uh, don't hesitate to write a comment below and we'll do our best to answer it. Thank you so much. Have a great day.